Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Me and my lass, she's over there. We are out for a walk. We are training for the West Highland Way, which we are doing in August, September time this year, 2021. But that's not why I am talking to you today. Today we are going to talk about the new GoPro remote. So there's been quite a few GoPro remotes over the years. So what's so different about this one? Well, not much of a difference to be honest, but there is one feature of this new remote control that made me upgrade. But first of all, let's have a quick look at it. Now, I do believe that this new remote only works with the GoPro Hero 8, 9, and a firmware update just recently for the GoPro 360 Max means that it also works with that. The build quality is great. It's rubberized, ruggedized, and it's got glove-friendly buttons. Big rubber buttons, I think that's what it means. It also comes with a handy wrist strap, just a simple Velcro strap with the GoPro logo on it. The new remote has a simple button layout. It's got power, setup, mode, and record, of course, the big red button for record. A nice view over Huddersfield there. You can see Emily Moore and Castle Hill. Now, the new remote has a handy LCD screen and that enables you to see what mode the camera is in, whether it's recording or stopped, and you can change settings via the remote as well. Now, at the bottom of the remote, there's a rubber flap and underneath that, there is a USB-C port and it does come with a USB-C type cable. And of course, the USB-C port is used for firmware updates and for charging. So what would you use the remote for? It's a great question. There's a big red button on top of the GoPro. Isn't that enough? Why bother with the remote? After all, it's quite expensive, about 80 quid for this new remote. Well, I think one of the best uses for a remote with a GoPro is moto vlogging. It must be so frustrating not to know what mode your camera's in, whether it's still recording, did you set it recording, did it actually start recording? It must be so frustrating when it's on your helmet and you're riding along on your motorcycle, you can't stop and start your camera. So I think uh, moto vlogging is a definite uh, no-brainer for, uh, for the remote. But you don't even have a motorcycle, Rob. Ah, well, that is where you are absolutely right. I don't. But this remote could be a game changer for my vlogging workflow. Now, if you've been following my channel, you will know that I have been incorporating the GoPro Max, the 360 Max camera into my vlogs, as well as the GoPro Hero 9. And I hope you'll agree that it's been giving some fantastic results, really interesting footage you can get from both cameras. But it's been an absolute nightmare back home on the computer, editing, synchronizing the two cameras together. I've been using the GoPro Hero 9 just like this for uh, talking to camera. And I've been using the GoPro Max, the 360 Max for B-roll and anything else that crops up. Because with it being, of course, 360, anything that happens to the side of me or behind the camera, I can, in post, I can actually get that, just spin the camera around. It sees everything. So just to let you know, when I am vlogging with both cameras, I have the 360 Max mounted on top of the Hero 9 media mod into the cold shoe. Just mounted on top there and uh, it works perfectly well. So I can run both cameras at the same time off the same stick. But uh, when I get back to the computer, I have one long recording for the 360 Max because I just leave that rolling and I have uh, each take on the Hero 9, if you follow that. And the reason for that is there's no way you're going to be pressing stop and start record on both cameras. That would be a nightmare as well. Now, in an ideal world, I would get back to the computer and would have equal amount of takes on each camera. And that would be far easier for the workflow. So that obviously brings me to the new GoPro remote. Now, the feature that sold this remote to me is the multi-cam feature. And I'm sure you have already worked out exactly what that does. Yes, fantastic. I can now control both cameras at the same time. One push on the remote control record button sets both cameras recording at the same time. And another push on the button stops the cameras 
at the same time. So I will be putting all this that we've talked about into practice in future vlogs. So if you're interested in seeing the two cameras um, edited together, I'll be using this technique with the remote control, the new remote control from GoPro. So yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how I go along with the new remote. Will it do what it says on the box or will we get glitches? How far can you have the uh, cameras away from the remote? It'll be interesting to do a range test. So I'll be finding all that out in future vlogs. If you have got the GoPro, the new GoPro remote, uh, let me know how you feel about it. Am I gonna come into any problems with the techniques that I've been uh, talking about, how I'm going to use it? Have you come across any problems? Are you thinking of getting one? Has this vlog helped you? If it has, give me a like, consider subscribing. Oh, we've got, we've got a wild cam. I'll pick that up and take that uh, back home. It is mine. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this vlog, give me a like, consider subscribing. I upload vlogs every month. So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye.